energetic, swinging, melodic, listenable, ginger. just all about us, like a lot of jazz can be quite kind of um, insular, just the musicians playing for themselves, yeah, yeah. whereas we kind of really bounce off the crowd in the last And night. swing man, and that's his point to swing. Yeah, right? yeah, it's got a swing man, and I think that we got a lot of energy from the audience last night, which then translates onto the stage. It's a really young trio, which I don't want to sound kind of like bad towards the old people because I I play with old people all the time. But it's nice to to find and to play with just young people with with the energy and like the love of the jazz music, you know. Because a lot of people think that it's you know that it's not kind of there with the young people, and, and it is.
particularly like about this trio is me. that there's only three of us. And there's only um, really one of us, really. Yeah. No, um, <coughs> back up. The lineup's great because it's uh, we've stripped it right back down to a, a three piece. So quite often in this music, you'd have like somebody comping the rhythm um, and holding that down, um, which of course happens at some parts. But we've got a lot. We can play with a lot of textures now because uh, when sort of the guitar is solo and we just got the bass, we haven't got a chord instrument as well, which I know Tom Tom finds particularly. Uh, Enjoyable because it's a real challenge to kind of keep the pulse of the music going and everything swinging when you haven't actually got that rhythm element holding it down. But equally, I think because there's only three of us, we can really go in any direction we want. Um, in fact, a lot of the arrangements that we've kept just happened in the night. Really, didn't they, they just happened. Yeah. Well, it turns out that Sweet Lorraine, which we which we have done um, for a couple of nights, it works quite nicely with vocal and bass. And we only found that out because he didn't know the chords. So. <laughs> but not with clicking. <laughs> well, we did the first couple of shows when I, Tom was in, and I was in, and, <laughs> and last night, just before we started, Tom went, Can you do it without clicking, please? Because that actually makes it harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually, me and Will, on the way down, because uh, I went in Will's car, we, we sorted out, what was it? We sorted out the ending to like, what was it? Oh, yeah, Pent Up House. <laughs> But you, you wrote a new ending arrangement. <laughs> and we didn't car. tell Tom. <laughs> and we did it. <laughs> he said, What was all that about? And I said, I oh, yeah, forgot to say that we'd like I just sorted some out on the way down. It's the spon it's that it's so spontaneous on stage, you never know what's gonna happen. Credit to him though, he picks it up so fast, doesn't he? Oh he's there man, he's solid, he's got your back. For sure. <laughs> 